Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And today we're going to talk about what men find attractive. So if you are struggling or you want to, uh, you're struggling to attract a man into a relationship or you want to attract a man into a relationship, then uh, this is what men are attracted to. So first, let's talk about what men are not attracted to so we can um, you know, get that out of the way first. And the first thing that men are not attracted to is masculinity. Now, it's not that men are um, you know, repelled by masculinity, although they might be in some cases, um, but men are not attracted to masculine women. So if you are a masculine woman and you're trying to attract a masculine man, um, that's not going to work very well. I mean, he might want to be your buddy might want to be a friend of yours. You might want to be a, a drinking pal, but um, you know, being like attracted to you as a masculine woman, he's not gonna. It's probably not gonna happen. So, what you want to do is uh, not be masculine if you're trying to attract a guy. The second is um, being a strong, independent woman. Now. A lot of times, what I'm not saying here is that being a strong, independent woman is unattractive. There are attractive and there are unattractive, smart, um, strong, independent women. And if you want a man to be attracted to you, you can't expect that he's going to be attracted to you for being a strong, independent woman. Um, so the next one is that thinking men are the problem. Now this is actually really unattractive. A lot of women come to me, and uh, when I, when I tell them that uh, I'm a women's dating coach, um, they'll be like, "Well, why do you do that? You know, why aren't you? You should be talking to men because men are the problem. Men need to figure out their stuff. Men are, you know, what's wrong with the world?" And and that is really really unattractive. Um, imagine a guy coming to you and telling you that women are the problem and that women need to get themselves together and women you know it's women 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 and it's it's just really unattractive when someone says that when a woman says that to a guy or she even thinks that you know it's a belief system of hers because your beliefs will come out um, no matter what so the next one is trying to fix men or make them the way that you want them to be. Uh, Alison Armstrong is kind of uh, known for saying, uh, having a phrase that goes, uh, you know, men are not just big, hairy women, right? And a lot of women kind of think that men are big, hairy women and, and that they should act like women do. And, you know, they know what they should be doing and they should be acting like women. And, um, or, you know, and so a lot of women will try to fix men or try to get men to be more like them, or they'll, you know, try to change men. And, and that's not what men want. Men want a woman who is, uh, who loves them and, and accepts them for who they are. And when you're trying to fix them or change them, they're not going to feel like you accept them, and that's very unattractive. So let's talk about what is attractive. The first thing that's attractive is feminine energy. So feminine energy is incredibly attractive, and a lot of women um, uh, kind of put this down. There's a lot of feminine shame going on right now in our society, and, and it's not by men. It's by a lot of women that are doing it, and, and um, I think that's really a disservice to women, and I think it's a disservice to men, and I, just, I think it's a disservice to relationships. Um, you know, feminine energy is beautiful and it's attractive and it's amazing and it's magical. And to a guy, it's totally mysterious and, you know, filled with wonder and excitement. And, um, you know, it, it can be really powerful to be a feminine woman. And so, uh, anyway, getting off my soapbox there, uh, feminine energy is really, really attractive to men. Another thing is youthfulness, which kind of plays hand in hand with being feminine is is being playful, right? Uh, a lot of women are like, oh, men only want young women. Um, and to a certain extent, there is some truth there. Uh, but what men really want is a woman who's youthful, who who is doesn't act like she's old, who acts like she's young, who has playfulness and youthfulness within her. Like that is very, very attractive to men. Um, another thing is uh, value. So being valuable as a woman, that's incredibly attractive to men. So uh, a woman who is valuable to him in his life and makes him look good um, is really, really attractive. right? And a woman who doesn't feel like she's very valuable, doesn't feel like she's worthy or deserving, who has low self-esteem, that's very unattractive. So 
you know, uh, recognize your value, find your value, build your self-esteem. That can be a really, really powerful thing. Um, and the last thing is connecting to a man's heart. You know, a lot of women try to uh, convince men to be attracted to them, and that is a losing strategy in, in every single way. So if you want a guy to be attracted to you, you need to connect with his heart. You know, Connect with your emotions and then connect with his emotions, and that can be really, really powerful because men don't get emotions. They don't understand them. They're, it's more difficult for them to touch their own emotions, and so when they can get pulled into your world of emotions that can be really really powerful and make them fall in love and and uh, love you forever so that's it for today if you want more information on how to attract a quality man into a committed lasting relationship make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take the quiz there i'm matthew coast and i'll speak with you again soon